Welcome back everyone. Well, as you can see today we're back in the kitchen again and today we're making pumpkin mini bunt cakes. So this is our batter that we have and I'll explain what's all in here and then for our little mini bunt cakes we're using these really like little mini ones here but it turns out really good and I'll explain the whole recipe as we go. But going back to this our uh, pumpkin base here. What we put in here was is we put in flour, sugar, brown sugar, baking soda, pumpkin pie spice, salt, eggs, vanilla, one can of pumpkin, vegetable oil, sour cream, and cinnamon. And what I did was, is I took all the wet ingredients first and the, and the spices, so like the sour cream, the cinnamon, the oil, the pumpkin, the vanilla, the eggs, the salt, the spice, and the baking soda, and mixed them all together first into the mixing bowl here. Then I added in the flour, the sugar, and the brown sugar. And we mixed it until we got this, um, this consistency here. Now, you don't want to over beat this because otherwise it'll it'll they'll act this, this cake batter like acts real funny so you want to just like incorporate this enough just to where everything is mixed once everything is mixed stop and if you have like any streaks of flour or whatever you can just take a rubber spatula and um mix it that way and finish mixing it in so then like i say we have our mini bun cake pans over here um, that I got from uh, my uh, local store and these are really small ones I mean as you can see the bottom here they're small but there's 12 per thing so let me fill them I'm gonna show you how we fill them because you don't want to fill these too much because this uh, this uh, cake batter one really expands but let me get them filled and I'll show you uh, the process on that all right I'm gonna try to do this left-handed I'm not that great at it but you can see I'm using a smaller scoop like this and what I'm doing is, is when I put it in here like this, I'm just looking for enough of the batter just to cover, um, just to cover the, um, the tip up to the tip right here of my uh, baking pan. And as you can see, they're all about half filled, just a little bit under on that one, but they're all about half filled here. So let me get the rest of these filled and I'll tap them out. And then I'll show you um, what the end product looks like and what you can do to top them and everything. So then we throw them in the oven for roughly about 12 minutes until they're done. And when they come out, you have these uh, really nice little pumpkin mini bun cakes. Now I'll just show you the difference. This one here was the one that was filled, you know, only a half, about halfway up. And as you can see, it looks really nice and everything. If you have a tendency to overfill them, they get uh, more like a kind of like a muffin shape. So those were my first ones. So I just used them as an example. And I like I say, a lot of this I just give away to friends and all that. But you can uh, leave them plain like this. They actually got some really good pumpkin flavor in them. Or if you want to keep it simple, you can dust it with powdered sugar. Or you can even use a... Um, uh, confection sugar glazing where you mix you know your sugar with milk or water until you get it to the consistency that you want and then you can drizzle over it but me with all the sugar that's in here with the uh, regular sugar the brown sugar and all that it's sweet enough and I like just the pure pumpkin taste of you know the pumpkin flavor so like I say this was another one from us you know showing you different fall things and we still got maybe one or two more um ideas coming up for fall before we switch over to thanksgiving and then we go right into christmas so i hope you enjoyed this video and like i say if you're new please subscribe and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up because it helps the channel out a lot and until the next video everyone take care and stay safe and i'll see you right here next time Bye, everyone.